I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to one. We're now going into the big door. More light puzzles. Figured. Um. One, three, six, two, five. What is it you truly desire? You're just like him. Um, maybe it's in a different area. Death hides in the shadows. Is there a hidden lamp? There's only five. Hmm. Well, we'll come back here. You still there, Ghosty? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, yeah, I don't have my Discord on the same screen, so I can't quite tell if it's... It's my first time streaming with the Discord thing, too. It's actually, the, the latency is actually a lot lower than YouTube, but I'm sure it's also because it's a lot lower capacity. Settled the three caretakers. Read it? Yes. First was Azazel, whose mighty arms would rebuild the world from its ruins and stand tall over his enemies. Him that the creators could atone for their sins. The second was Zephlon, Zephon, whose ever watchful eye would look upon the people and keep the evil outside at bay. It was through him that the creators could watch the world be reborn. It seems slightly familiar. Third was Hathath, with his tender embrace that could cleanse the, his people from the fear that gripped them. It was through them that the creators could ease the minds of dismay. So we heard that, um, I think specifically that Chalal changed their name, and uh, I think Oculi as well. I guess Hathoth just kept it. Oh, computer. Input code. Um, seven, three, nine, one, five. <laughs> Glad I put that in a separate tab. <laughs> Do you know the answer? Obviously, yes. You're leading him down the same path. Hey, fake. I keep forgetting to use those battle items. Uh, any hints in here? I truly desire to get past the cube. Oh, 
Would you like a hint? Uh, sure. For this one, the numbers go from one to five from left to right. Four as a six, even though there's not six <laughs> things there. Let's switch here, I guess. One of the littlest things could trip you up on stuff like that. Yeah. I think I actually changed the way the numbers look later on. I should probably do that for 4.5. Oh, uh, yeah. The, <laughs> I forget what other one, but yeah, there's some. The, that particular font is a little confusing. I think I got confused in a different puzzle to use those numbers. Oh, Probably yes. somewhere in zone two. Arms. Yeah, there's a lot of puzzles in zone two. Yeah, luckily I removed some of them from even I could see there was too many. <laughs> there's also one safe combo I never found where to input. Probably wasn't something too important though. Judge is always so disquietingly happy for this world. Ugh. I was gonna like characters like that. It's just they shouldn't be that happy. Like that's wrong, and it just makes them creepier. Even though Judge is clearly a good guy. I assume the eye is probably sorted towards the top too now. Uh, actually, I think it's still near the bottom. How many enemies uh, are there in the game now? with the enemy designs, especially considering how many of them there were. I uh, definitely wasn't expecting it. And there's even more now in the new version. Yeah, some have been removed or replaced due to them not really fitting in, because now I've like added a theme to each zone, so the monsters reflect those. The theme is definitely apparent in Zone 2 with all the eye monsters. <laughs> yeah, the, I definitely picked that up in Zone 2. Peace. Peace and love. <laughs> Loud mouth <laughs> ectoplasmic incarnation. I definitely noticed some themes of lots of tentacles, lots of big vertical mouths, lots of eyes and mouth interchangeability. Funny enough, always yeah, reminds I just, me. I just have a lot of fun making monsters. Yeah, I like the monster designs a lot. But funny enough, the eye equals mouth thing always reminds me of uh, Kirby, of all things. So oh, yeah. Kirby really does love those kind of enemies. With the dark matter and all that. Yeah. And poor, poor DDD just opening from the chest. Yeah. In fact, odd as it is to say, Kirby is probably pretty responsible for my first um, exposure to, like, you know, particularly, like, creepy and grimdark enemies. Uh, Dreamland 3 
and um, Kirby 64. Probably my first time. Yeah. Probably my first time with anything particularly like screwed up like that. Yeah, because on the outside Kirby's adorable, but then you have these really messed up enemies out of completely nowhere. <laughs> Zero hits pretty hard in Dreamland 3. With all, like, yeah, with him in uh, Dreamland 3 and in 64, you don't expect blood from him. Yeah. But here you go, blood in the crew game. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad they managed to get away with it, because I... I met... Oh, that's different. Um, I imagine you wouldn't get away with it, though oddly enough, the... Um, Kirby's Dream Collection, it's only, I think, E10 or something. <laughs> this is by Zero, just splitting into gore at the end of Kirby's Dream Land 3. Rise and fall. <laughs> Little did the creators know their innermost corruption spread across the land through the three caretakers. Their wish for a better world destroyed before it could even begin. The caretakers fell into madness and only brought the opposite of their goals, bringing nothing but misery and insanity to people of the pure lands. Some, if not most, falling under their negative influence. That sounds about right. The shadows wait into the darkness. Hey, fake. Choose my floor. Floor 21. No. <laughs> already on that floor. Okay. Big building. Oh. It's kitchen basement time. Well, it's more so mall time. <laughs> Why do you keep going? I assume this is just like a prefabricated thing in RPG Maker, just like a set room to looping. Because I've yeah. seen... Whoa. Big boy. Screaming Spectre. Oh wait, no, that's the other one. Gloom! Howling Phantasm of Darkness. Oh dang, that hits all enemies? That blade's really good. I like the sounds they make. in this original track. Same. Like, the fact that it was only played once and off just made it so underrated. Yeah. And that's honestly kind of why I used it in this game. 13. It just says 13. Consider replacing the main battle theme in this game, but it's been around since the first demo, and I feel like it would be weird. Yeah, let's change it up just a little bit with some things instead of just all of it. Yeah, that, that's why I got it like repurposed, so now it, it's the same song but sounds different. Some games, especially some classic RPGs, that um, you know you're in the real shit once um, once the main battle theme changes. I think a couple of Final Fantasies do that. I think oh, I can't. Th I know World of Final Fantasy does that. Once you're towards the second half of the game, the uh, main enemy theme is different. Kind of just. It just hits you because it's like just normal battle theme. Normal battle theme. It's like, whoa, wait, what's this? It's kind of funny how impactful music can be. Yeah. And stuff like that. Similar to how like you know you're in for some real shit if the um, if the overall music doesn't stop when you get into a battle. Mm -hmm. Poor Judge is blinded. 
that's right. <laughs> Did buttons ever level? They must have, I don't think they... At this point, you probably would have, I feel. It was pretty close. You were at 23 when you started, so... This have a lot of help. Then again, I'm mostly out of CP. Yeah, it's definitely leveled. Um, so yeah, I guess they just didn't go in. secret. Good job. Thanks. Okay, they're all fake. I see that treasure chest, though. A Wednesday has been found. Are all the days of the weekend? Yeah. I think I've only found three. I feel like, here. like if you're willing to backtrack, like let me see what you've got really quick. Uh, Thursday, Monday, and Wednesday. Okay, yeah, the, there was one that you missed in Zone Three. I think you could still get it. It cuts your CP use in half. Oh, nice. Is that one of the locked doors I missed in uh, Zone 3? It wasn't in a locked door, it's just in a door that can be easily missed or confused. Uh. It, it is in that one big uh, Yume Nikki esque room. Oh, that's probably why I missed it. Yeah. It's just a door that looks similar to the one you already come out of. Probably just missed it. I didn't even, like, seen it while I was looking for the next door, and just assumed it was the door I came from. Yeah. That's why I can be easily missed. What level would you say is about right for the uh, final boss, by the way? Just in case I need to grind or something. Probably one. I think you're well, well there. But, I'm, like, by the time I always get to the end boss here, I'm usually, like, level 19, 20. Oh, jeez. How many times would you say you've uh, run through it anyway? The game? A lot. <laughs> it will be your grave. Oh, thanks. I usually tend to stream playtests of the game once I always add in like a big event. Oh yeah, and you said Tumblr is the best place to follow up on the dev stuff, or is that right? Yeah. yeah the one thing Tumblr still seems valid for is fandom stuff. Yeah, it definitely helps spread the word better. At least compared to, uh, say, the original site I used to be on before moving to Tumblr. So I used to be on DeviantArt, you know, before it became a kind of a hellhole. <laughs> I haven't been on DeviantArt in years. What uh, what they do to it? 
they forced a really bad layout. And there's there's just like zero filters. Go. Yeah, definitely remember that DeviantArt is a good place to go if you want to like find things that you had no idea were fetishes and didn't want to know were fetishes and exactly. they're not marked not safe for work. <laughs> like people will not tag their like stuff as adult sometimes on that site. Yeah, that's I hate that. That's one thing I, I appreciate about uh, Pixiv is they have they have one category for like not safe for work and they have a different one for like not safe for work and violence because I no <laughs> no no no. I do not want that. Yeah. It's like, ugh. And like on Twitter, it's the same thing. And you get very unpleasant surprises if you leave on the thing for adult content sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sometimes still get it. Yeah. That's why, <laughs> that's why, especially when I follow Japanese artists on Twitter, I like to turn off the retweets because you can get some really. <laughs> Unexpected things oh. in retweets. Oh yeah, I've I've gotten those really unexpected retweets. <laughs> Most people don't even know you can turn off retweets. It's a very <laughs> valuable feature. I wish you could just kind of turn off all retweets. I mean, I use them to share like new games and stuff, but it's hard to know what people want to retweet. Yeah. Especially when it comes to like artists that speak a different language and stuff, because like all you can see is what they post in their art. And it's like, oh, you follow for that, and then you have no idea what other stuff they're into. Then you yeah. can get some surprises. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that I'm lost in the mall again. It's kind of the point of the mall. Yeah, I also plan on changing this eventually too. Like, these were just last-second things I threw in just to kind of lengthen it a bit. Probably heal, come to think of it. Of you do have those Abaddon's meat. Or a badden. There we go. Alright, let's... In fact, since we're menuing, we should probably end the video around here. It's getting pretty long. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, Ghosty, for coming along. We will no problem. be back in the loft basement. It's not the basement, <laughs> but <laughs> something about kitchen basement just really <laughs> stuck with me. Um, silver flesh. Alright, that should be good. Alright, like before, I could do a little something for you to try and fix something. Like a different bug or... Try and give buttons their attacks. Oh. Do you still have a save orb or did you get rid of those? Uh, I haven't used any so I should have them. Alright. I assume I... Considering you usually end at level 20, I assume I'm not getting more skills from leveling up then? There should be a few more. I know there's definitely an um, attack you get at max level. Oh. At level 99? Or is it lower than that? Uh, level 40. Ah. Uh. Alright, gonna cut the video here.